Hello everyone! So for today, I will be discussing the role and competencies of a school head. So let's start with quotation from Brian Tracy. The best leaders have high consideration factor. They really care about their people. So what is the meaning of that? When we say leader, he or she must have consideration factor before doing something. Just like for example, school head. Before siya mag-come up sa plans niya or before niya gawin yung idea na naiisip niya, he or she may consider factors such as consulting it to external and internal stakeholders of the school for the sake of whole institution. The school heads should be fair for the betterment of institution. Next is the Republic Act 9155, also known as Governance of Basic Education Act of 2021. Under the role and competencies of the school heads, this act empowers and strengthens the principal and leadership goal. A school achievement greatly affects the plans and the action undertaken by the school heads. A school heads has authority, accountability, and responsibility to lead the national educational policies, plans, and standards. So, since the principal leads the school, he is empowered and has authority to make decisions that would result in achievement, instructional goals, and it also means that he was going to be accountable for all school level. Since the role of the school head is not an easy task, therefore, the DepEd must schedule on the different leadership trainings for school heads to make sure that they will be fully functional to their duties and responsibilities, and more so to enhance their school instructional supervision and monitoring skills. Here is the National Competency Basis Standards for School Heads. The NCB SSH is basically a self-appraisal tool accomplished by the school heads themselves. So, ito yung tool na dapat maipasa ng isang school head for him or her to be valid as a school head. The school head are asked to complete a self-assessment instrument where they identify the behaviors they have consistently demonstrated in their role as a school head across the seven domains. Let's proceed to guiding principles in the framing of the NCB SSH. The following are the principles which guided the framing of the NCB SSH. Function based. The competencies are based on school head function as stated in RA 9155 related schools and DepEd policies. Responsive. Competencies are applicable in any range of contexts, big or small school, city or rural school, culturally divergent groups. Impartial. These are applicable to any school head regardless of position, item, gender, age, experience, and other personal circumstances. Coherent, these are clear and logical. Valid, all performance indicators are research and experience-based. Core principle, school heads are competent committed and accountable in providing access to quality and relevant education for all through transformational leadership and high degree of professionalism and this core principle will be achieved by the seven domains the competencies identified for the school heads are classified into seven domains for school leadership and management which are domain one leader school leadership Domain 2, Instructional Leadership Domain 3, Creating a Student-Centered Learning Climate Domain 4, HR, Management and Professional Development Domain 5, Parent Involvement and Community Partnership Domain 6, School Management and Daily Operations Domain 7, Personal and Professional Attributes and Interpersonal Effectiveness in Domain 1, School Leadership Effective leadership is the core of every successful school. This domain emphasizes that effective school leaders collaboratively create a vision and establish a climate for teachers and 
non-teaching personnel, and learners to match their highest level of achievements. Developing and communicating vision, mission, goals, and objectives, database strategic planning, problem solving, building high-performance teams, coordinating with others, leading and managing change. In Domain 2, Instructional Leadership Education reforms have created an urgent need for a strong emphasis on the development of instructional leadership skills. This domain covers those actions in instructional leadership. Just like, for example, assessment for learning development and implementation, instructional supervision and technical assistance that school heads take or delegate to others to promote good teaching and high-level learning among pupils and students. This also includes the assessment for learning, developing programs and or adopting existing programs, implementing programs for instructional improvement, instructional supervision. In Domain 3, creating a student-centered learning climate. The domain requires that effective school leaders set high standards and create high expectations for learners and at the same time recognizing their achievements. It is setting high social and academic expectations, creating a school environment focus on the needs of the learners. Domain 4, HR Management and Professional Development. Effective school leaders develop the skills and talents of those around them. This domain includes the nurturing and supporting of a learning community that recruits teachers based on SCBTS and promotes the continuous growth and development of personnel based on IPPD and SPPD. So it is creating a professional learning community, recruitment and hiring, and managing performance of teachers is tough. In Domain 5, Parent Involvement and Community Partnership Effective school heads engage in shared decision-making with the community in achieving universal participation, completion, and functional literacy. This domain covers parent and other stakeholders' involvement to raise learners' performance. So, it is parental involvement and external community partnership. In Domain 6, School Management and Daily Operations. This domain covers the critical role school heads play in managing the implementation and monitoring of their school improvement plan or annual implementation plan. So, it is managing school operations, it is fiscal management, and use of technology in the management operations. So finally, the Domain 7, Personal and Professional Attributes and Interpersonal Effectiveness. Effective school leaders are models of professionalism and ethical and moral leadership. This domain includes the development of pride in the nobility of the teaching profession. So it is the professionalism, communication, interpersonal sensitivity, fairness, honesty, and integrity. Competency Framework for Southeast Asian School Heads In 2003, Southeast Asian Ministers of the Education Organization Regional Center for Educational Innovation and Technology developed the Competency Framework for Southeast Asian School Heads. The Competency Framework was envisioned to provide a common foundation for defining what skills and attributes are needed of school heads in order to effectively carry out their roles and lead their schools to excellence and success. Since then, the framework has been used as basis for InnoTech's program offerings for school heads in the region. These are the five general competencies for the school heads. Number one, strategic thinking and innovation. 
is essential in charting a strategic direction of the school and leading change and innovation. Number two, managerial leadership. It, it is essential for school heads who needs lead academic and support staff to meet the government mission and vision as well as the school policies. Number three, instructional leadership. Enable school heads to monitor and advise teachers by logical development. Leading curriculum implementation and improvement. Creating a learner-centered improvement and supervising and evaluating teachers' performance are other duties of the school heads. Number four, personal excellence is the fourth competency related to school administrators' recognition of professional development for themselves and staff. Number five, stakeholder engagement is essential as school administrators have to meet the needs of the stakeholders including the, the government, the students, community, and the parents. Promoting shared responsibility for school development and sustaining collaborative rela relationship with stakeholders should meet by the school heads. That's all guys. Thank you for listening.